So the whole artificial intelligence industry is on a frenzy right now through the introduction of DeepSeek. But what is the main difference between DeepSeek and ChatGPT? For you as an end user, whether you're a professional or a student, there are key differences which extend beyond the things that you have been hearing or reading about in terms of the application. And we're going to go through it through a very nice example and analogy to help you understand what is the main difference. Think about it this way. Imagine you walk into a library and we have two different librarians, librarian A and library A, librarian B and library B. Librarian A is ChatGPT, librarian B is DeepSeek. What is the difference? Let's say you walk into library A, you do have a question, which is your prompt, and you input that question, and you input the prompt, and librarian A, which is ChatGPT, is going to take a look at the prompt, and then it's going to go through all the books in the library regardless if it's relevant or not, collecting pieces of information to make sense of the input and giving you the output, the answer. It has to go through every single book in the library in order to find pieces of information which are relevant to your query, which is your prompt. This consumes time, consumes resources, and it includes the usage of extensive data and information as part of the training for ChatGPT. On the other hand, once you give the same prompt to DeepSeek, the process or the architecture of DeepSeek is different. What happens is DeepSeek is going to take that prompt, then as librarian B, within library B, it knows exactly which resources under the umbrella of expert architecture, it's going to find the best resources to match it with your query, your prompt, and then it's going to focus on those resources to answer your query and giving you the answer or the output. This saves time, this saves effort. At the same time, it gives you a compact answer. So for your query, it gives you an answer which focuses on exactly what you're looking for, saving the whole computing task time and effort and in terms of the application for deep seek it's not costly that's why it's been getting a lot of hype in in, in today's uh, in ai industry world because it's doing the job of chat gpt with fraction of the cost fraction of the time with better results that's why it's very important nowadays to get up to date with those skills and to know exactly what's going on. So for DeepSeek, does it apply to every single application that you have? Well, at this current stage, it does not cover everything. Since ChatGPT has voice applications, at the same time, it has the ability to generate images. Now, for DeepSeek, the application mainly revolves in terms of mathematics and coding. These are focused applications which give you the ability to harness the power of DeepSeek to get results which actually work. Since DeepSeek's architecture is it really focuses on the resources it has before addressing your own prompt compared to ChatGPT, which goes through all the resources it has and finds the information relevant to your query, DeepSeek has a concise focused output, which makes it a great fit for mathematical applications and coding. If you take, for example, a certain equation and put it on ChatGPT, most probably you have noticed like I did, it will give you the wrong answers. But if you take the same question and the same equation and put it on DeepSeek, you will get the process of thinking that's going through DeepSeek and you will get a really concise and straightforward answer, which works. And the same applies to coding. If you take a certain piece of code through ChatGPT, it has many bugs. But if you take the same code, pass it on to DeepSeek, you have the ability to make the code shorter, more concise, giving you even a better output. So these are the key considerations nowadays you need to keep in mind as you're going through ChatGPT and DeepSeek. And definitely there are things that are going to be released through DeepSeek and ChatGPT in the future to see which one is going to be competing with the other on various AI applications. Now, if you are a professional or a student and you are new to our channel, first of all, make sure that you smash and destroy that subscribe button and take a look at the video description i've got for you exclusive invitation to our membership community at the same time our courses subscription where, where we provide you with professional development courses brought to you by experts in the field now any courses knowledge that works through engineering project management leadership presentations and much more and the library is growing on a weekly to weekly basis monthly to monthly basis and all of these updates all of these courses they come with a recognized a completion certificate 
that you could use to actually help you stand out in the field through understanding the key important practices that you need to be equipped with to excel at a professional level and at an academic level. Take a look at the video description. All of them are provided for you and I look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos.